This is an aromatherapy humidifier. This particular one is on the smaller side at 130 milliliters as per the information that came in the box. I think online it was saying it was 150 milliliter. Not much of a difference between those two sizes. When you factor that out into um, cups, 130 milliliters would be close to a half a cup, um, maybe a little bit more. So 150 milliliters wouldn't be much more than that. So here is the unit. It comes with a USB cord and then the other end plugs into the back like that. You can plug this into a computer jack and it will work or, oops, if you have an adapter, you can use that. So you plug it in like that. So how you make it work is you pull off the top, it just comes straight off like that, and it, it is pretty secure. So you can lift it by the top if you want to, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry it around like that when it has water in it, just to avoid spills. So there's what the inside looks like. So it, has, it comes with this cup that you can fill it up with. I'm going to use just plain tap water. You can use distilled water. Distilled water is probably better, but a lot of people don't have that on hand. If you're going to add essential oil, now would be the time to do it. Just three or four drops should do it. It is important to clean this out fairly regularly, especially if you're alternating essential oils. Um, and the, only, the way you do that is you just take a damp cloth and you wipe along the insides. Very simple. That will also help prevent mineral buildups and deposits. Of course, if you use distilled water, that's less of an issue, but you're still going to have to clean it irregardless because you, you're putting essential oils in it and they leave kind of an oily residue on the sides, as you would expect. Okay, so we have the water in it. So now, the way you turn it on... It's, it's all controlled with this button. So press it once and it's red. And what that is is the infrared feature. The pamphlet that comes with it doesn't explain the infrared feature so well, but this is the sensor here. And what, what it does is it will send a, it will turn on based on your proximity to it. So if you want to conserve the oil and water that's in the tank, you would put it on that, and then it's only going to turn on when it senses uh, you nearby. The blue is an intermittent, so it will go on for a few minutes and then it'll shut off for a minute. And then the purple, which is the one I think most people will use, is the continuous on. So that, and then this will run until the reservoir runs dry and then it will shut off automatically. And with this size reservoir, I would say you're going to get three, maybe four hours out of it before it runs out. Of course, you're always welcome to add more water, even mid cycle, but be sure to turn it, whoops. Be sure to turn it off before you do that because I'm going to show you what happens. When you turn it on and the lid is off, see how it's sending up a jet of water? And that's kind of getting all over everything. So it's best to operate it with the top on like that. This is a cool mist humidifier so it won't burn it doesn't i mean there's no hot components anywhere on it so it's not going to burn you it's safe for pets and children it's quiet you can have this by a bedside and you're not going to hear anything now it is going but you can't hardly you can't see it very well or at least i can't tell when i'm looking through my camera i can't see it but it is it is going it's just a very fine mist. I'm trying to angle it so maybe you can see it better. Can you see that? Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
I've had other humidifiers that put out so much, um, so much vapor that it, it almost is like a cloud. And I would say this is on the lesser end of it. So if you're worried about um, like nearby papers or whatever getting damp, this would probably be a good one for that. Although I, I've not had too much problem with humidifiers. I, I had one that we had going and it put out a lot and it ended up damaging uh, a, a, a picture, um, a drawing that I had on the wall. But that was a very isolated incident. I don't suspect that m most of the time you'll have that problem with any of them. So it is coming out and I apologize if you can't see it on my video. It's pretty subtle. But it's very attractive. I love the design of this. Really cute.